Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. Today you join me with Mad Max because he is my test mule for a new product that has been sent to me by an American company called Shine Armor. Here is their product. It is the Fortify Quick Coat and the idea is this is a waterless wash. So no need to muck about with hoses or buckets or pressure washers. You literally use this and two cloths. So it should be dead easy, but is it any good? Well, let's find out. So as you can see, I have taped up the bonnet to separate one half from the other. I'm gonna work on this side first because this side is actually the dirtiest. So hopefully it will give you a, um, a more noticeable difference once I've applied the product. Let's open it up like so. And in fact, it smells really nice. It's, to me, it smells like black grape. And um, yeah, that is, it smells delicious actually. So yeah, if you have children or any pets in, the, in your property, um, probably best to keep it out of their sight because they may drink it. So just a quick disclaimer, I've not been paid to do this uh, review, but what I will say is uh, Shine Armour very kindly sent me their products free of charge. Right, if you want to know how much the items cost, I will put a link in the, um, in the video description below. So first I'm gonna just rip the tags off so there's less potential for them to scratch. It's easier said than done. Oh, there we go. And on the, oh, I've actually been sent quite a few cloths. So I've got, oh, I've got four, that's handy. So I only realistically need two. So it's nice to have some spare ones if needs be. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be working on the left side. Well, obviously left as you look at it, but obviously it is in fact the right side. So let's have a look at the instructions. This should be quite straightforward. Uh, spray onto a clean, damp microfiber cloth and onto the surface you are cleaning. Uh, let's have a look. So this is actually dry, so we'll just dampen it up in a few moments. Uh, gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. Uh, step three, quickly switch to a clean, folded, dry microfiber cloth and buff off remaining haze before it dries. Uh, repeat this process until the entire vehicle is clean, streak-free and ultra-glossy. Uh, safe to use on glass, paint, metal and plastic. Uh, there's also a guarantee with this as well, just to give you peace of mind. Right, I'm going to quickly dampen this cloth back in a moment. You can get the product from Shine Armour directly or you can get it from um, websites such as Amazon. Uh, this bottle is $19.95, so I will um, convert it into pound sterling for you. And I've also got some of their other, uh, their other products. So I've got the interior cleaner and the leather cleaner, which isn't really applicable to me because all of my cars have got the fabric interior. So if I have time today, so I won't lie, I am up against it. I will uh, try out the interior cleaner in Olaf, my um, EP3 Civic Type R over there. Uh, if not, I may film a separate video, right. Oh, I've got water all over me. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna start on this side. So apply it directly to the cloth. Just wait for... Right. That should be plenty. Oh, it smells so good. This feels really, this feels almost criminal to be Clean, uh, cleaning a car in a waterless method, but it is, of course, better for the environment. As you can hopefully see, it's been quite a lot of muck that's come off already, and this is meant to be the cleaner, so I don't forget. So let's now buff it out with the dry cloth. Uh, it's got a few bits on there, but if I fold it that way, it should be okay. Right. I must admit, already, that is looking really, really good. Although, like I said, I'm still a little bit suspect about filming, uh, so not filming, about uh, cleaning a car without using water. This does feel slightly wrong, which is why I've used my track car as opposed to one of my other cars. Now, Shine Armour do say that this is safe for the paintwork. Um, Apologies, the light has gone a little bit crap. They do say this is, this is safe for any paintwork, and as I mentioned, they do have a guarantee, but I'm still a little bit dubious, if I'm going to be honest, I'm still a little bit skeptical. But anyway, I shall proceed. Even just, 
a little spray goes a long way. I'm a poet and I do know it. Just do a little bit at the bottom, that bit's actually a bit stubborn. Although actually that's a bit of stone chipping. Right, let's see if I can do that test that they do in the videos where the bottle slides right off. This probably won't work, but let's give it a go. Hey, there we go. That's the ticket. Try again. And if we try it on this side, as you can see, it doesn't really want to slide, it just wants to fall over. But on this side, look at that, smooth as velvet. So let me take you guys off my tripod. Hopefully I can show you the difference. So here we have the clean side. And if we move over to the dirty side, it's a problem with the silver car. You can't really tell as much. So it is a little bit annoying, but if I stand back a bit more, hopefully that's quite a good angle because you can see the, the nice reflection on that side. Come on, autofocus. You can see the nice reflection on this side when the camera wants to focus. And you can't see any kind of reflection that side, maybe a little bit, but yeah. That side, oh, that is looking mighty fine. Look, it's looking so good, even the autofocus is stunned. Put a little bit of water on this side. And as you can see, it just trickles down nicely. If I put it on this side, you can see it doesn't trickle off quite as nicely. It spreads more even, it's clinging onto the car, whereas on this side, it's just sliding right off. Beautiful. And back onto this side. Now the microfiber cloths, they do feel a little bit, uh, a little bit thin, but to be honest, they have worked well. So I haven't really got any complaints in that department. Uh, I would prefer thicker ones personally, and probably bigger ones. These aren't the biggest, but like I say, so far they've they've done their job. So can't really have any complaints there. Could this be the future of cleaning cars? I think that's probably. Um, a topic for debate but as I said earlier if you want something quick and easy that gives you a good result then yeah I would thoroughly recommend checking out what Shine Armour have to uh, offer. So there we have it, Mad Max has finally had his first clean and it's all thanks to Shine Armour. I have to say I have been very impressed by the Fortify Quick Coat. However, I'm, I'm, still not, I'm still not convinced about a waterless wash, but I am convinced about the effectiveness of this product because as you can hopefully see, the car is looking so much cleaner and in all honesty, it didn't really, really require much effort. And as you can see, a lot of grime and dirt has come off the car. So yeah, the uh, Shrine Armour product uh, has certainly done its job. But yes, a massive thank you to uh, Shrine Armour for sending their product through to me. I, I didn't have time today to test out the interior cleaner, so uh, I may do a separate video for that. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to like, subscribe, and to ring my bell so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.